Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of this Glen Latam Let's Play. Uh, first of all, before we move to June, we need to finish collecting the hay bales from the big grass field. So I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna take this tractor with the trailer and put them in the field and then come back to the, to the farm to get the skid steer loader with the, the bale spikes. Uh, for loading up these bales, I think I'm going to try something else. Uh, last time you saw me struggling to put two bales at a time on the trailer because uh, these skid steer spikes are not working properly. I mean, if the ground is not perfectly even, it doesn't uh, want to unload, or at least not both of them at the same time. So right now I'm going to try something different. I'm going to try to turn the balers, the bales, and then load them up to the to the trail. So I'm going to do this in a in a time lapse because otherwise it will take a lot of time. And uh, I'll come back to you when all the bales are uh, are loaded. As you saw, almost all the bales are on the trailer right now. I only have this one that I'm going to take by hand to back to the farm by hand. I mean with the skid steer loader and I'm going to put it in the bale and storage shed. And then jump in the tractor, bring back the other bales, put them in the, in the store. And before we move to June, and I hope before gets too dark I want to roll the grass fields but uh, the r grass roller that we have it's very small so I think I'm going to go replace it I mean uh, we have this one over here the red one but I think it's only a 4 meter w width and uh, I've checked the mod hub earlier 
before I jumped on this and uh, I found others that are much bigger and for our biggest grass field it would be better to have a bigger one. So let's put these bales in this shed over here. I think I can back up the trailer and should take them automatically from from the trailer. And then uh, just those four. Let's change the angle a little bit. Perfect. Now we'll, are we are going to put the trailer in this shed over here and then take the rollers and uh, go to the store to sell these ones and to buy to buy new ones. So I'm going to to jump cut this and uh, I will see you back at the store. We are here. Let's see how much can we make for the old roller just over 14k so it's not bad now let's go to the front of the store and see how much it will cost us to get the the new grass rollers uh, those ones you can find if you don't know in the grassland care category in the in the shop okay so i have a mod that sorts ev everything by price so we have this option here for 6 meters at around uh, 8k we can afford this no problem and we all we have this 12 meters here it, and it requires only 140 horsepower so we can pull it but it's 32k so i'm going to borrow some more money from the bank i know we already have a loan but i am going to increase it so we'll make 40k right now and then we'll go back to the to the shop and buy this one over here and I'll keep it just as, as it is gray let's buy it and then let's go let's turn on some some of the lights on this tractor and let's go back to the to the farm and uh, roll the two grass fields I'm going to type time lapse from here because you saw me come to the store a big number of times. The grass rolling is done, 
and if you are wondering why am i doing this because if we take a look in here in this menu where we can see the field uh, if we select also the grass see now the grass the two grass fields that i rolled are fully fertilized so basically after buying the rollers which were not cheap but in the long run they will pay off because uh, on these two grass fields for now and if we buy some more in the future we will be able to apply the fertilizer basically free of charge so that's the the point of them that's why i wanted to get the bigger ones because if we have if we will have in the in the future more grass uh, uh, it will be easier to to roll all of them and basically like i said gain a free fertilizing stage for the grass field so it will pay off now uh, since it's getting dark and it's still raining i want to rest and uh, move to june let's hope it will not rain in June or at least in the beginning of the day it's not so that's awesome let's see what we have in the sale department we have a small landini for vineyards and the draper we don't need any of them the first thing we need to do today is to borrow more money and then we need to go to the store and buy some mineral feed to put in the in the feeding robot to make some more food for the house and i'm thinking of buying around maybe 10 pallets of mineral feed and then uh, i think we will have around six left from our money and we I think we will see how many sheep we can buy with with, uh, with those money I don't think our field is ready to harvest I didn't check so let's do it now no it will be I think two more days before it will be in game days basically two months in August should be ready to harvest and until then after we feed the animals i think we are going to do some contracts because we don't have right now any other way to make money uh, let's park this trailer somewhere around here and put it, put it like this so it will be easier to load let's go to the menu and to the palette and look for uh, mineral feed let's see where it is mineral feed it's right over here so we are going to buy no, i don't know 10 pallets 9 pallets 10 pallets of this should be good i think we have 10 pallets so now let's go grab the forklift, the one that the store has, and load up those pallets in the trailer. If I remember correctly, the the mineral feed pallets can be fed to the to the robot thingy directly from the trailer. So this will be uh, let's say easy and fast job, but it will take some time. Uh, for me to load them so i'm going to jump cut this and uh, i'll see you back at the at the farm with uh, with the pallets on the trailer We are now back at the farm and we have the mineral feed loaded in, in the trailer so let's go 
put it in the mixing machine in the robot I think the mineral feed point should be just around here and after we can see about uh, getting those uh, those sheep Okay, so all of it is now in the in the robot. I think we should have let's so we have ten thousand liters of mineral feed, eighteen of silage, twenty two of straw and forty nine of hay. So I think we should put some more silage in. But it's not uh, it's not uh, mandatory right now the cows still have enough total mix ration uh, total mix ration. So we can we can postpone that for uh, for later. Right now, let's go see if we can get some sheep and get them fed, uh, because I don't have a, a lot of money. I think I'm gonna get baby sheep, and let's see if we can get twenty. Uh, Four thousand six hundred twenty-five. Yes, let's get 25. Okay, so we now have 25 sheep. Let's get this skid steer loader and grab some hay pallets from the from the shed over here. And uh, feed them. Let's get two for for starters. Let's put put the hay in and let's hope actually the straw bales will be accepted in the trigger because we had some surprises I had some surprises in the past with some of the sheep pens that didn't accept uh, bales but I hope this one does yes it does so let's check this menu over here and see how much feed they have so they have 9000 liters and that barely scratches the surface of the hay that we can put in there and in its defense it's normal because uh, it's a large capacity pen I mean 2000 sheep they will consume the food at a very fast rate so let's get another 5 bales put in there and we'll have uh, 10 more in the in storage I've managed to put two back but it's not a problem I'll come back to get them out again uh, and the sheep should have if you put another team should have another 30 40 thousand liters of food in the in that trough so for now I think it will be it will be okay I will time lapse me doing uh, the hay for the for the sheep and then you can come back and uh, look for a contract. Okay, so now the sheep have some food let's take an aerial look to of the sheep i think it will be nice so yeah see them roaming around in the grass it's nice uh so yeah we now have sheep they have feed i mean they have thirty thousand liters of food in there we'll see how much they will consume until tomorrow and then we can put some more in and right now because we don't have any other things to do uh, in our farm I think it's time to 
start a contract to earn some more money. And we have a fertilizing contract on field 66 and we have two bailing contracts. One on field 2 and one on field 7. Let's see where it's field 2 and where it's field 7. Field 2 and field 7 are right at the end of the of the map so it will take some time to to get there to be able to do those contracts but they are very lucrative let's say they pay a lot of money i mean uh, okay for this one we need to make hay and take them to exports and for this one the same so let's start i mean this uh, contract and i will borrow items because i want to test the uh, these autonomous mowers that they they give us the crony big M. and I'll just uh, take this and uh, go to the field I think it's field seven yeah let's uh, let's take this and I will time lapse cutting the, the grass and I'll start the time lapse now so you can see me travel to the to the field because I haven't been so often, often in that part of the map. Okay guys, I'm back. So I decided to put uh, this crony on a worker and I just did that and uh, I'll jump back to the to the store and uh, get this tractor with the tether and also with the rake. I'll just put the tether in front because it's a small one, it's not a trailed one and it can fit in the in the front and I'll take the rake in the back and go back to the to the field and while the mower the crony it's uh, finishing up mowing the grass I will start tedding but for now I'll just jump cut this piece and I'll I'll see you back at the field and start uh, start the ted tedding in a in a time lapse we are almost back at the field now and uh, I'm looking in the top right corner of my screen and I hope the mowing will be finished until my money will run out. Uh, and I hope the worker will not miss very many bits of the, of the grass so I won't have to come back and, and do it for myself. But here we are, before we start the time lapse, I think we are going to leave the windrower here. It's in the road, but it doesn't matter as I saw we have another way of entering this field from the other side. So that's the there's the the mowers going. And uh, now I'm going to put this down, turn the tractor around and start tedding this field in a in a time lapse.
thedding of the grass is done. Uh, so now we need to uh, roll the hay, bale it and uh, collect the bales and deliver them to the indicated sell point. But all of that will happen in the next episode because I'm very cautious of the time. And uh, if I start rowing the hay up right now, it will probably as a time lapse take around five minutes, maybe more, and uh, it will become a very long episode. So I'll I think it's better just to make it a little bit shorter this time and uh, I don't see a, a problem. A problem. I'll just position this here and uh, next time we will just start it and uh, start rowing the, the hay. Just one thing I need to check and I need the menu for that. Uh, yeah, I need to put the swat in the middle. That's how I wanted it to work. And this is it for this episode. I hope you are still enjoying the series. If you do, press that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, subscribe to the channel. And last but not the least, see you next time.